Hello and welcome back, everybody. How are you doing? I'm doing great. That's yeah, always good. Uh, so this guy here, we have upgraded to an IV level, and we are getting this process set up with Iridium. Yes, indeed. It is time to get some Iridium. Uh, always so good. Now, the one catch to this is, well, haha. <laughs> I need to get argon in somewhere, and I'm trying to remember how my piping goes. Uh, okay, so we have that coming up there. That's good. And then, oh boy, gets a little convoluted. <laughs> I think, I think it's like over here. Is this it? No, that's well, it's helium, nitrogen. Um, is that it? I don't have argon in there though. Hmm. Well, you know what? I'm just gonna, you know, it's just, it's, it's a thing. You know, it's, it's a thing. It's fine. It's fine, everyone. Relax. No big deal. Uh, we're just gonna throw that down there. And I'm just gonna do like, uh, thanks, argon. Beautiful. Amazing. And we're just going to be like, uh, copy that into uh, that. Pasted. Beautiful. Uh, I don't think I need that connected there, do I? No, I don't think so. Uh, I do need that connected there, though. Okay, so argon is being supplied. And it's being extracted on blue. Did I set that up correctly? Yes, I did. Okay, beautiful. So we are working our way towards iridium. Very nice. 60, 65%, blah, 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 blah. And I've already set it up over here. Now, the hard part is, and by hard part, I mean the easiest part possible, unless you're out of drawers. There we go. Fixed it. Fixed it. The hardest part about this is the fact that we just have to place down another item. No big deal. There we go. We got ourselves some iridium. Big hype. Big hype, ladies and gents. You know, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta be happy about these little victories. You know, just one of those things. We already had a thing here, though, so we'll just throw it down right there. Excellent. Okay, quest complete. Excellent. Now, um, that's our that's our iridium. We're in the high or late game here, and there's a lot that I'd like to get done, and we'll see how far we progress here today. Now. The next task is the double iridium, which will get us into the tier five micro miner. Kind of completely skipping the tier four, but I'm pretty sure that I need the medium microverse projector to pull it off anyways. Also the signalum double plate. So we have a little bit of low hanging fruit to say the least here of some quests that we can kind of just quickly get done. So if I grab two of you, and then I'm just going to say, yeah, Iridium, you know what? I got two of you as well. Perfect. Uh, we're just going to throw these down in the bender and get some double plates. Again, nothing complicated about this. Just a bit of low-hanging fruit that we can put in our inventory and just pretty much unlock other things, right? Little details like that that's just going to open up our horizons. Okay, perfect. couple more off the dock here beautiful yeah that does open us up to the tier five now this one's kind of nice because i really like this one actually for many reasons uh real gar that's kind of been like in my gallium arsenide environment the arsenic dust is the hard part there Palladium, not a big deal for us right now, but the Basnastite, the Svalorite, the Monazite's really nice for us. You get that Osmeridium 8020, which is just going to help us out there. The Boron, the Molly B, and the Beryllium. It's just got a lot of lot of good things here. So, uh, the only source of Naquita ore, right? That's the thing here, right? So, this is the only source for you to get Naquita, along with Sheldonite for PS etc. So what does this mean? Well, there's a couple of different things here. So one of them requires stabilized uranium. We don't have this capability right now. 
right? And then if you go plutonium, that gets you the Naquita, right? So this tells me I'm at a bit of a sticking point until I actually go back into the mid game and start on nuclear craft, right? This is going to be the scenarium. It's going to be the plutonium, you know, things like that, that we're actually going to need here very soon, very, very soon. But that's not where we are truly stuck. I just wanted to kind of get those items done and off our plate. Get the Iridium process started, right? Just complete those quests. Not a big deal. Now, we have a lot of things that require a lot of different details, right? As you can see, there's a scattering of random quests kind of all over the place here that we could kind of tackle. And this was actually very confusing for me, and it still is a little bit. Okay, where do we go? What do we do next, right? Um, and I'm kind of thinking, you know what? Let's go to a tried and true, right? Let's get ourselves the next level of circuits, right? That's going to get us the IV circuit assembling machine, and it's just going to start to branch us out from there, I think, right? Um, in the mid game, we could probably just rush all of these items. Uh, I think the only complicated ones is the nuclear craft, the high speed steels and the PBI, uh, I think are the hardest here. So we are almost done the mid game, right? But I kind of want to jump over here to get ourselves some circuits. Okay. So nano processor assembly. This is one of the steps here. It's an EV required uh, circuit assembler. And it requires nano circuits, which I believe we have. And a lot of the same things that we already have today. So that one should be pretty easy. I don't actually know. Do I have a spare one in here? I don't think so. What's this? Chemical reactor. Yeah. Well, there's our nano circuits. So we got those. So yeah, it looks like I need to get, these were all HV machines. Yeah. Okay. What do I have up here? Cutting machines and HV as well. Okay. So I guess if we need them, I, I don't know what I did here, but that's fine. So yeah, we need to get ourselves an EV circuit assembler. All right. Let me get a few things together and we'll start producing some nano circuits. No, wait, what are they called? Nano processors. That's what they're called. Alrighty, I think that should get us all of those base metals and stuff like that. Now we just need to add the nano circuits up here. Boom and boom. And away we go with some loud noises as per normal. I don't know. I've actually, like the way I've been silencing everything, <laughs> it's actually, uh, Sometimes it's a little too quiet around here. You know what I mean? <laughs> My brain starts working and oh boy, it's dangerous. It's dangerous. All right. We're going to throw those guys in there and we'll slap that on as usual. And there we go. Our nano processor assembly. Perfect. That is great. Now from there, I think we get our nano supercomputers now nano supercomputers are basically the same thing but a little bit more we get the diodes uh tungsten steel wire and lumium fine wire so a couple of items here that i do not have and the nor logic gate which i do not have either which requires a pink lens oh boy um i need pink dye how do I get pink dye again? It's red and white. All right, let's see. Let's do this. Uh, pink dye. I th I think we can pull this off. Uh, no, not that one. The regular, not the chemical. Thank you. I don't have that. I do have that though. Excellent. I think I only need one, uh, if I recall, because it gets me two. Right. So, uh, I think with the lens, it's two. And then some salt. I think salt was actually the hard part last. Oh, yeah, it's hard. Okay. I got lots of salt peter, but not a lot of salt. I need some salt. Um, rock salt? 
I think I use like literally all of my salt in ore processing. So we have like zero salt just lying around uh, ready to go. So as you can tell, there's a couple of items that we need to work on here. So first things first, let's take a look at the wire as well. So for this supercomputer, we need the fine tungsten steel and fine lumium. Luckily, we can still just use our HV wire mills, uh, which is good. We don't have to like jump up to the next tier or anything like that. It's not required. So we can grab two of those and I can get both of these fine wires automated in our normal line here quite easily. Uh, last one we did was platinum. That's a while ago, right? So we have not had to do much for fine wires in a while. Uh, which is good, you know, just little things, a little bit less complicated, I guess. All right, but in this, I'll uh, set these ones up so that we can get that fine wire, and then I'm going to go find some salt. All right, instead of finding it, I'm just going to make some of it. You know what I mean? It is what it is. We keep it out of our system, and then we have less concern, right? Okay, I think I only need one here, uh, so I don't need two. Is that correct? Yeah, I think that's correct. Okay, just the one. That's good. We'll throw that in there with a glass lens. Uh, I made another brown one by accident, apparently. Uh, that's fine. Uh, you never know. We might need it in the future. You never know. You never know. It's probably going to waste, but that's fine. Okay. Uh, from there, we need to get our precision laser engraver. Uh, and what level do I need for this? So that is an HV, okay, with the phosphorus. So not the worst, not the worst at all. Um, how, what? I'm out of chrome rods. I've never automated chrome rods. Hello? I guess not. Probably not, to be honest. That seemed like something I wouldn't have automated. Yeah, nope. So, uh, yeah, I guess I'll do that here as well. You know, little things. All right. Well, it's a slow process, but we're getting there uh, shortly, I hope. Uh, okay, I do have that reduced. I couldn't remember if I did or not. I just removed the cutting machine out of here and replaced it with the precision engraver. Uh, and now that I put it away, I'm like, oh, wait, I actually need that cutting machine because I believe... Uh, I need to cut the nor wafer into the nor, which requires HV anyways. So this chemical reactor I actually need to get rid of and not the cutting machine. Well, that's fine. You know, little details, <laughs> little tiny details. All right. Uh, from there as well, obviously, we need to do the proper setup and the lubricant and whatnot. So with this, we're going to have lubricant going in there. Excellent. Amazing. And in here is going to be our nor wafers. And we'll just do it like that. No big deal. Now, this is precision. Uh, these are all precision. Is this a cutting? Yeah, that's a cutting. Okay. Let's just grab that and paste it over here. That should bring us in the lubricant which it is, that's good. And then the Nor wafers, which I'll set up here, which we don't have yet because I have not collected them and put them in there yet. Okay, good. Excellent. Away it starts cutting. We'll put a little bit of a mute on that. No big deal. And from there, that will get us the Nor logic gate. Now, where are we at for our supercomputer? I think with the logic gate, we are good to go. So we need another EV circuit assembler, uh, which is no big deal, really. Uh, let's grab that guy right there. And as you can see, I do have most of this at least auto craftable, which is good. You just have to click a few more times. I should probably uh, just actually set up this recipe. Um, but, you know, I don't know how many more circuit assemblers I'm really going to need in this tier, if you know what I mean. So we'll we'll kind of wait and see. Okay, so that should be getting us our cut nor logic gates. Beautiful. That's good. And 
we should be able to set this up nicely. All right, and now with uh, everything set up, we are good to go to uh, finish off this supercomputer. Very good, very good. Again, little steps like this are great because we're gonna start to just progress along. That is nice. Getting these things done is just one of those, it's a little tedious and I apologize for that folks. And you know, I'm a little bit behind with the new job and everything. So bear with me. I don't know if I have as much time to really go completely into some of these things, but now we get into the nanoprocessor mainframe, right? Which is an LUV tier of circuit, which is pretty darn cool. Um, this guy, again, kind of the same thing as before. I think we have everything that we possibly could need for this, um, but we'll double check here shortly. And all of our usages are going through the roof as well. So it's just one of those little details that we're going to have to now monitor and make sure that we are actually doing what we're supposed to be doing. Now, aluminum box, I think I can auto craft. Yeah, okay, good. So this crafting card will automatically craft these aluminum box frames or frame boxes, which is really, really nice. Um, from there as well, we can kind of just go through. This is going to burn through a lot of resources. It looks like we have most of this ready to go except for the supercomputers which we'll put in right now so that'll give us availability on pretty much everything and other than that i just need to get myself that circuit assembler again which again probably should have made a few more of these it's fine no big deal um but you know at least this is easy right you just kind of click and you go right it's not complicated at least how did I pick up a flower pot? I do not know. Did I just use nano processors for that? I swear I did. Oh well, I guess I guess that's fine. It it is what it is. <laughs> All right. Don't sweat it. I'm not even paying attention to that stuff. So yeah. Yeah, that's a thing. Okay. I'm gonna set this one up as well. Uh it should be pretty easy kind of like the last ones were. And uh, we should be seeing the last but not least, the nano uh, processor mainframe. All right, there we go. We should be getting everything and it should start up nicely here. And this will get us our first of whatever they call those things. It's fine. Nano processor mainframes, I think. Uh, which is pretty darn cool. I'm not going to lie. I'm very happy that we're at this stage. But at the same time, I'm a little worried. And I'm thinking that I should increase the amount of RAM wafers that we kind of keep available to us. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Not the wafers. It's the cuttings that I'm concerned more about. Let's double check on that uh, right here. This guy here... I'm a little worried about because, yeah, I'm kind of concerned about this. Let's increase that capacity because at least if once we backlog, it should backlog to a higher quantity. But we're using quite a few of them here. So it's definitely one of those things that I am a little concerned about. There we go. First tier six process circuit. That's the one. Okay. Uh, first and most expensive tier six circuit needed for crafting the IV assembling machine. Really? No, it's the circuit machine. Pretty sure, because I already have the assembly machine. So yeah, that's the thing. Okay, there we go. And we've got LUV circuits, which I don't know where that is uh, in this whole thing. I mean, oh, right here. Yeah, okay. So we've finally progressed. Like, this feels like we're halfway done, doesn't it? Does it feel halfway? <laughs> I think it's a myth. I think it's a myth. We're probably not halfway. We're probably not halfway. But this does bring us into the elite circuit assembler, the IV level, where we could actually start to get into other things. Now, 
for this, it's crazy, right? We need the IV electric motors. That's the tungsten steel rods, the graphene wire. I don't even think I have all this like automated or anything like that yet, right? So yeah, the tungsten cables, I don't think I've even made a tungsten cable yet. So that's a thing that we're just going to have to uh, think about here as we go. Now, this one is going to get us into the next uh, step of circuits, which is really, really nice. But also for those circuits, I need the fiber reinforced epoxy resin sheets, which is going to give us a fiber reinforced circuit board and an extreme circuit board. So let's start getting those ready to go as well. And I believe for those, it's not complicated uh, to say the least, but we do need a chemical bath, which I may or may not have. Uh, chemical bath. I think I can do HV. Let's double check that. Uh, you always have to double check. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Okay. So uh, chemical bath uh, we can definitely make, which is nice. Uh, boom and boom. Come on now. There we go. Excellent. And we will start this process in our automation as per normal. So this guy here is pretty straightforward. It's going to take these fibers and our epoxy resin that we have. You know what? I'm going to put it just right here. Why not? Yeah, we can do that. That'll be good. That'll be great. Okay. Yeah, so we'll put that right here. And it should be... Like I said, really straightforward, not complicated in the slightest. So this guy here is just our epoxy resin with a raw carbon fiber. Okay, so first things first, epoxy resin over here. We'll just say, okay, let's keep ourselves, you know, eight carbon, raw carbon fibers. Shouldn't, like I said, be a big issue at all. Are these chemical baths? Fluid solidifier autoclave the autoclave one should be fine to copy should be similar anyways there we go our epoxy resin very nice now we need to implement our uh i should have fibers oh no i'm just making them here okay let's just throw in a few of our fibers like so and that should start up our chemical bath which it is and from there same old same old uh we will set this up to store those items again nothing too revolutionary here but good little steps once you get your system up and running getting your steps to make it work is important right so there's our fiber reinforced epoxy right resin sheet oh that's a that's a mouthful all right but from there now we can work on our fiber reinforced circuit boards, which is our next tier of circuit board. And that requires annealed copper foil. Ooh, I don't think I have annealed copper foil ready to go, which I do not. Uh, luckily enough, again, we have a nice system. Very easy for me to set up. All right, last step here. Let's throw in some fiber reinforced epoxy resin sheets and of course we silence them up this is the same setup that i've used before where we're getting ourselves our fiber boards right like that okay fiber reinforced circuit boards we got the conveyor going between the two machines along with some of the annealed copper foil and why is this not working what am i missing here uh, annealed copper foil, it requires a clean room. What? What? Okay, hold up. Wait a minute. <laughs> all right, well, I thought I had it all done, but I guess this is where we need to go upstairs with our items. So this has to change ever so slightly from our previous setup. So instead of doing this, we actually have to store the sheets now instead. So we'll do this, we'll do this, and that will get us our fiber reinforced sheets like so. And this guy comes on out along with these two, which again, not a big deal. 
because that will actually save us over time. And then before I forget and put another machine beside this, we need to remove that conveyor because, yeah, that would totally bite me in the butt later on for sure. Okay, so we need to make our fiber reinforced circuit boards there. And then up here, I need to go in here and create that chemical reactor setup right here. Okay. Again, minor technicalities, but I think this is the first one that I've seen where we do it in this place instead of, you know, somewhere else. So good to know. Good to know. All right. Uh, from there, again, same old, same old. We will set up the same basic transaction that we had before downstairs and get this ready to roll. Okay. Good and good. This should give us our new boards uh, once I configure all of the extra settings. So uh, in here, we need to have probably a lot of this annealed copper foil. Uh, I think like it requires 36 or something. We'll just put in 32 at all times there. And then it looks like I need to add another interface here because why the heck not, right? The way we roll around here, just more and more interfaces. Okay. Uh, we also need uh, the fiber reinforced flex board. We'll put in four of those and that should now have uh, this needs to include those boards like that. Okay, so we have the boards, we have the foil. All we need now is the sodium persulfate, which should be like that. Boom. We should be now working towards our first of the boards. Excellent. This guy I have reduced down to one stack. That's good. I may up that. It depends on how much of this we need. You don't really need to have a plethora of these items sometimes if all machines keep up with each other you might only need a few right but as you can see with our nors here you know we're we're struggling right we have 16 at all times our nano processors right which requires the ram and the electrum and things like that are barely kind of keeping up but these are slow right what's going to happen is We'll fill this up to 64. I'll log off. It'll fill up. Just takes time. Then this will back up to 64. Then this will back up. You know, it's just one of those processes, right? So there we go. We got our extreme circuit board done. Now that opens us up to diddly squat. Well, not quite. It does get us a multi-layer fiber reinforced epoxy substrate that we could build. Um... But that's kind of getting ahead of the game, to say the least. We could build it, though. We could build it. That's the thing. Um, it did open up a couple of different things in terms of we're getting closer to having other things open. So uh, it is a big step. It's a step that we needed for a lot of different things. But it's a step that we'll kind of keep going as we go here. Okay. Assembly lines, again, another nice little step that we need to jump into along with our LUV uh, items here on the left. One of the big tasks, though, and I think next episode we're going to dive into it, will be our polybenzamidazole PBI that we have to make. I don't think this is going to be that complicated other than the fact that we're talking IV level machines. and some more large chemical reactors, which we really haven't built too many of, right? Uh, zinc dust, it does not get consumed. You know, our ammonia is probably going to go through the toilet, things like that. Um, and, you know, we don't have three of three, so we don't have this guy either. So, yeah, there's a few different steps here. Chlorobenzene, I don't think we have. So there's a lot of steps to that one, right? But... It is an integral and a very big item that we need to get. It's so big that it's on two different pages, okay? So 
This polymer requires at least 14 processing steps to craft. Good luck. Okay. It's very important though. So next episode, that's probably what we'll start on. I may have some of it already started, but uh, we'll finish it as we go through it and I'll show you it all. Anyways, uh, make sure you slap that like button. Make sure you say hello. All those fun things. I figured out what I can use the alloy blast furnace for. We'll get there. Don't worry. Um, but I think that's where it leaves us for now. All my EBFs have kicked in because I've used a whole bunch of stuff. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you next time. Bye-bye for now. See ya.